as children together. Under the sloped snow, pinned all winter with Christmas lights, we waited for your father to whittle his soap cakes away, finish the whiskey. Your mother to carry her coffee from room to room, closing lights cubed in the snow at our feet. Holding each other's coat sleeves, we slid down the roads in our tight black dresses, past crystal swamps and the death face of each dark house over the golden ice of tobacco spit, the blue quiet of ponds with town glowing behind the blind white hills and a scant snow ticking in the stars. You hummed Blanche comme la neige and spoke of Montreal, where a Quebecoise could sing, take any man's face to her unfastened blouse and wake to wine on the bedside table. I always believed this, Victoria, that there might be a way to get out. You were ashamed of that house, its round tins of surplus flour, chipped beef and white beans, relief checks and winter trips that always ended in deer, tied stiff to the car rack, the accordion breath of your uncles down from the north, and what you called the stupidity of the Michigan French. Your mirror grew ringed with photos of servicemen who had taken your breasts in their hands, the buttons of your blouses and their teeth, who had given you the silk tassels of their graduations, jackets embroidered with dragons from the Far East. You kept the corks that had fired from bottles over their beds, their letters with each city blackened, envelopes of hair from their shaved heads. I'm going to have it, you said flowers wrapped in paper from carts in Montreal, a plane lifting out of Detroit, a satin bed, a table cluttered with bottles of scent, so standing in a platter of ice outside a Catholic dance hall, you took their collars in your fine, chilled hands and lied your age to adulthood. I did not then have breasts of my own nor any letters from boot camp. And when one of the men who had gathered around you took my mouth to his own, there was nothing other than the dance hall music rising to the arms of iced trees. I don't know where you are now, Victoria. They say you have children, a trailer in the snow near our town. And the husband you found as a girl returned from the far east broken, cursing holy blood at the table, where nightly a pile of white shavings is paid from the edge of his knife. If you read this poem, write to me. I have been to Paris since we parted. Mm -hmm.